speciality of gastroenterology involves the diagnosis and management of patients with diseases of the intestines, liver and biliary tree and pancreas. The specialty is broadly divided into two aspects, medical and surgical, with a close working relationship maintained between the two. Medical gastroenterology largely involves the diagnosis and management of patients using medicine and minimally invasive interventions such as endoscopy. Surgical gastroenterology is split into three specialties, the upper gastrointestinal tract, the lower GI tract and the liver, bile ducts and pancreas. Endoscopy ranges from diagnostic to complex therapeutic endoscopy that is best regarded as a form of minimally invasive surgery, such as stopping bleeding from ulcers or removing gallstones. Many procedures in endoscopy have replaced traditional surgery as the safest way to manage the elderly population. In this programme we hear the views of Dr Peter Finch, consultant gastroenterologist at Ashford and St Peter's NHS Trust. Dr. Finch discusses how the latest gastroenterology, endoscopy and stomach health diagnosis technology is benefiting the NHS. Dr. Arne Roseth, a US-Norwegian gastroenterologist, discusses the use of calprotectin in the diagnosis and therapy follow-up of inflammatory conditions of the intestine. We also hear from David Moore, Managing Director of Pentax UK Limited, whose endoscopy equipment is recognised as market leading and is used by clinical teams in gastrointestinal departments in over 130 hospitals in the UK, helping to save lives and improve patients' well-being in a cost-effective way. Steve Rainey, Managing Director of Unisoft Medical Systems, discusses the GI Reporting Tool and GI Auditors Kit, which has been developed in close cooperation with leading British gastroenterologists. These innovations from Unisoft allow endoscopists to record extremely detailed findings quickly and to turn these into high-quality, consistent discharge summaries for GPs and case notes. Finally, we hear from Chris Moore, Head of Marketing at Bullman Laboratories, who have developed a simple, reliable and cost-effective diagnostic tool to differentiate between IBS, Irritable Bowel Syndrome, and IBD, Inflammatory Bowel Disease. With over 80 years experience of optical and technological innovation and a truly global presence, Pentax Life Care is internationally renowned for setting new standards in the world of endoscopy. Pentax UK is part of the Hoya Corporation of Japan, one of the world's leading optical companies with a global turnover of nearly 50 billion US dollars and around 35,000 staff worldwide. This provides us with the access to leading technological advancements enabling Pentax to drive innovations and together with medical scientists and researchers develop solutions for the faster and more effective detection, diagnosis and treatment of illnesses. Pentax has been delivering groundbreaking endoscopy products to its customers in the NHS and private healthcare sector for more than 30 years. Technological advancements include the introduction of the first fibre bronchoscope in 1976 video endoscopy systems from 1987 and ultrasound endoscopes from 1990. Most noticeably, in the last few years, a full range of high definition equipment from the endoscope tip to the wireless screen has been developed. This unique system incorporates our unique eye scan technology designed to support clinicians in early detection and characterization of suspicious lesions. Today, Pentax Life Care's endoscopy equipment is recognized as market leading and is used by clinical teams in gastrointestinal and ear, nose and throat departments in over 130 hospitals in the UK. Our customers tell us that what sets Pentax Life Care apart is the fact that our superb imaging and unique software helps them to increase the speed of detection, diagnosis and treatment of life-threatening diseases, leading to excellent patient care which ultimately drives down the cost of overall treatment. It's a combination of our superior products tailored medical training programs and market leading aftercare service that enables us to achieve this. Endoscopy is a minimally invasive procedure. Um, endoscopists will pass an instrument called an endoscope into the body through the body's natural openings such as your mouth or your nose or your anus for example. And what they're doing is they're passing the instrument into the body to look at the internal surfaces of the tissue of those hollow organs. 
So if they're looking at the stomach, they're looking at and studying the surface of the, of the stomach to see if there's any disease or any abnormalities and to make their diagnosis. Pentax endoscopes help clinicians to save lives and they do this by uh, providing very high quality, very detailed images um, which help to first of all detect uh, abnormalities. So you've got a very high quality, very detailed image which helps with initial detection and once they've detected they can go on to further characterize um, what they're looking at. Um, and our technologies are high definition imaging and our technologies help the doctors to, to, to achieve this. Pentax uh, HD Plus with iScan technology helps me in my uh, daily work largely in terms of uh, increasing the accuracy uh, and sensitivity of the diagnosis um, that we're making through the endoscope. The image quality is, is vastly superior to the previous technology uh, and this enables me to detect lesions that uh, previously would not have been noticed much smaller uh, lesions perhaps. Uh, um, the eye scan adds an added definition in terms of uh, uh, contrast enhancement to possibly detect lesions that uh, we wouldn't have seen at all by uh, virtual chromoendoscopy. Um, and that has a major advantage, obviously, in terms of diagnosis. But uh, there are a number of uh, screening procedures that we undertake uh, at endoscopy, particularly colonoscopy in inflammatory bowel disease and uh, Barrett's esophagus gastroscopy, where we're looking for lesions that uh, previously were invisible. So we just took blind biopsies, multiple biopsies, um, throughout the colon or the esophagus. Uh, and that, that one is very insensitive, highly unlikely to detect a lesion. And secondly, it is, uh, represents a major cost in terms of the histology that we're producing uh, and asking our histology colleagues to process uh, with significant cost implications. So that the eye scan enabling us to uh, identify a, a lesion uh, and target biopsy of a suspicious lesion uh, enables us to cut down on the number of, uh, of biopsies that we take uh, and therefore uh, send to the lab. So in the UK we have many hundreds of units who are using Pentax endoscopes in one form or another and our service and our support and our product technology is very very well proven. Uh, we're also involved in technologies such as confocal endomicroscopy, autofluorescence and ultrasound. Um, but our very latest technology is called Highline and this is our, our step into high definition endoscopy. Pentax HD plus endoscopy combined with iScan is our very latest innovation. And this system is delivering images of incredible detail um, in, in, in high definition. And this has enabled the uh, endoscopist to see the interior surfaces of these organs in much more detail, which means that he can make his diagnosis, or he or she can make their diagnosis much faster and much quicker, much more accurately. Pentax 90i series range of flex blendoscopes uh, incorporate the world's first megapixel CCD. And this, combined with the EPKI video processor, deliver this high definition image. So with the HD plus image this can potentially lead to substantial improvements in endoscopic diagnosis, um, being able to study the vessel architecture, tissue structures um, for example and identifying lesions and this can obviously help the endoscopist to improve his, his diagnosis. One other area where Pentax is leading is in what's called virtual chromoendoscopy very subtle irregularities can be seen in the ascending colon with the HD plus imaging. An eye scan surface enhancement clarifies the tissue uh, component of the lesion, whereas the eye scan tone enhancement um, clearly unmasks the border of this lesion, uh, of this flat adenoma. Subsequently, the endoscopy can either resect this lesion or decide on some other treatment pathway. So the Pentax Highline Endscopes provide improved procedures for both the patient and the clinician uh, with their advanced ergonomics, responsive scope handling and a wide range of exciting new features such as zoom level, uh, uh, customizable buttons, uh, complete illumination of difficult areas, forward water jets and the largest channels uh, on the market. Um, in addition, our endoscopes are ergonomically engineered to fit very comfortably into the endoscopist's hands. And this is very important because these instruments can be used for long periods of time. So they're very lightweight, very ergonomic, very comfortable to use. Pentax Highline Clonoscopes include graduated flexibility, a three-phase flexible stiffness insertion tube, 
This ergonomic technology ensures supreme physician handling and patient comfort. The Pentax Highline system with iScan is all you need to achieve the best performance every day, ranging from diagnosis and characterization through to therapy. Pentax are dedicated to developing endoscopy products which help hospitals save lives and improve patients' well-being in a cost-effective way. In the short term, our excellent value combination of products, after-sales service and training support enables hospitals to improve patient throughput and lower costs. In the longer term, the superior imaging quality of our products facilitates clinicians in making faster and more accurate diagnosis, enabling them to treat life-threatening conditions at an earlier stage and drive down the overall cost of patient care. Our aim is to continue supporting clinicians in further improving the standard of patient care and productivity of healthcare delivery by providing the very best endoscopic products and services. Unisoft Medical Systems have been developing endoscopy reporting tools since um, 1995. Our main products are bronchoscopy and cystoscopy, but our signature product is really the GI reporting tool. We have 250 hospitals in the United Kingdom and Republic of Ireland currently using the software, and for the GI reporting tool, we are looking at over 210 hospitals. The GI reporting tool allows endoscopists to prepare endoscopy reports and discharge summaries, uh, laboratory request forms um, as quickly as possible. And this is achieved by the users just clicking buttons and boxes on the screen. We then have a fantastic algorithm that converts all these button clicks into sentences and paragraphs. And so therefore, uh, you end up with a report that looks as if it's been dictated, but has in fact been recorded rigorously with button clicks, as I say. Endoscopists can also incorporate into the reports images taken during the endoscopy. So we connect the uh, PC up to the endoscopy equipment, they press a button on the scope, an image is captured to the PC and then they attach the images to the reports. The GI reporting tool covers colorectal cancer, esophageal tumours, anything that's found within the gastrointestinal tract. One of the main strengths of this software is that we're supporting what is known as the global rating scale. Now this was um, a system devised by the uh, gastroenterologists back in about 2004 and its objective was to elevate the standards of endoscopy throughout the UK. The innovations in the software are um, several I suppose. Uh, first one is obviously the image capture and in fact the advantage of the image capture is that when they attach an image to a report we automatically splash up on the screen previous images that have been taken for that patient and this is quite handy because this allows endoscopists to compare side by side um, uh, pre-therapy and post-therapy images just as they would do if they were actually looking at the physical photographs. Then we have the scheduler. Now this has taken quite a while to develop. We originally decided that we would just put together a basic scheduler but in fact as we've put this out to the user base they have come back with more and more requirements um, and now the scheduler uh, we can specify the rules for the rooms, the rules for an endoscopist um, and the advantage, the main advantage of that is that the endoscopists, uh, sorry, the booking clerks don't now need to keep the rules in their head or need to be aware of the rules when booking patients. Those rules are 
burnt into the software and so therefore um, you can use regular booking clerks who don't know anything about the actual workings of the endoscopy unit but they can still book effectively and I suppose the main advantage of the uh, scheduler is that it does away with these page a day diaries that you see throughout a lot of endoscopy units and that brings us to our current development we are replacing a thick client GI reporting tool with a complete web-based version of the software now the advantage of this is that firstly it's going to be so much easier to maintain but secondly it's giving us independence of the underlying operating system Therefore, for example, uh, it'll be able to run on Apple devices, on Android devices, and um, will guarantee the sort of the future of our software for the next 10, 15 years to come. Uh, Unisoft's uh, GI reporting tool is a very useful adjunct to endoscopic practice and workload where there's an a, a important need to get the report out uh, uh, on the endoscopic procedure you've just carried out quickly uh, and uh, communicate effectively with the GP or the referring physician. Uh, and having the computer in the room means that we can do the report there and then as the patient is leaving the room uh, and they can leave with a printed report. We also have image capture facility and this enables us to add uh, still images, uh, image capture of the lesion which adds to the report uh, and uh, is useful for documentary purposes. Um, because the, image, the um, endoscopy report is produced instantly we can then fax or email it directly to the GP and this means the patient can literally go and pick up their prescription or, or see their GP uh, when they've had their procedure. We also produce an uh, information sheet for the patient which they take out with them uh, telling them exactly what's been found and what they need to do with advice. So as you've seen the, the GI reporting tool um, allows endoscopists to produce uh, high quality uh, endoscopy reports with the minimal amount of uh, interaction with the computer, plenty of scope for putting in free text but most of the reports, because 50% of endoscopies are, uh, are fairly normal and standard, can be produced just by clicking a few buttons on the um, screen. The software has been installed in uh, over 250 hospitals and I have to say that one of the main strengths of it is that it's been done in collaboration with leading gastroenterologists throughout the country. We haven't been a bunch of programmers just sat in an anonymous room trying to develop software that we think users require. We've listened very much to the gastroenterologists and have programmed accordingly. And of course, it's a very dynamic specialty, so there are constant changes involved in endoscopy. We want to ensure that our software stays at the forefront of both the technology that's currently prevailing and also the changes within the specialty and this way I'm fairly confident that we can guarantee that Unisoft has existed for 15 years and will continue to exist for the next 15 years. Bilma Laboratories is a Swiss in vitro diagnostics company based in Basel and it was founded in 1976. During the course of the years the company evolved, it became bigger and uh, made itself a very respected name in the in vitro diagnosis uh, business, especially for niche products. We at Bilman are very proud really that uh, we were able to set uh, standards and innovations in the medical field in various uh, uh, regions of research and of diagnosis. I would mention neuroimmunology I would definitely mention allergy where we uh, offer the flowcast uh, systems, that's basophil activation tests that provide the best sensitivity and specificity for food allergies for example. This is important because uh, bear in mind that uh, food allergies can quite frequently be mistaken for IBD or IBS. 
And of course, IBD is our major uh, area of attention. There, first of all, we um, uh, produced and now market uh, the most reliable ELISA uh, available. It has been kept unchanged since 2007. It has a very wide measuring range, which uh, allows for either doing IBD and IBS screening diagnostics, but also it allows to um, perform uh, therapy follow-up for IBD patients, which is a very important field of uh, activity. Um, more recently, we developed and marketed the only uh, quantitative uh, carpotectin rapid assay, the so-called uh, carpotectin quantum blue assays. And uh, very successfully, by combination of these two uh, technologies, really, Billman has uh, become uh, a leader and uh, setting new standards for IBD diagnosis. Inflammatory bowel disease is a chronic disease that affects about 2 million people in European uh, countries. It comprises Crohn's disease and also the colitis, and, and uh, these are two chronic uh, diseases that need uh, close follow-up and treatment and, and uh, sometimes can be uh, debilitating diseases. However, thanks to modern medicine, uh, the prognosis of IBD uh, over the last 10 to 15 years has changed dramatically, so such patients today can expect uh, to live and enjoy a normal life. Calprotectin is a small molecule that comes from inflammatory cells called neutrophils. It is actually the most abundant protein in these cells, and it's in fact just the same amount of calprotectin in neutrophils as hemoglobin in the red blood cell. Uh, this protein is remarkably stable. Uh, so that the patient can do a fecal sample at home, send it by ordinary mail to the laboratory for determination of, of uh, calprotectin. And now calprotectin, as a matter of fact, has now been has made it into the guidelines uh, of good clinical practice uh, made by the European Crohn and Colitis Organization. The use of calprotectin is now in the guidelines of good clinical practice adopted by the European uh, Crohn and Colitis Organization. Calprotectin is a very simple and uh, inexpensive test to run, and we use it to differentiate IBS from IBD. That means that uh, patients with uh, abdominal discomfort, it's very useful to use calprotectin to identify those patients that needs a colonoscopy. Um, as a matter of fact, in my hospital, we use it in all such patients to make sure that we don't overlook IBD. And, and a lot of clinicians still believe that IBD is a rare disorder, but as a matter of fact, uh, it affects about 1% of the population, which is the same as diabetes type 1, that is insulin-dependent diabetes. Um, furthermore, we know that calprotectin correlates very nicely with the endoscopic appearance of, uh, of inflammation in IBD patients. That means that we can use calprotectin to follow disease activity without having to do colonoscopy. And you know that patients really hate colonoscopy and we should not forget that it's also a very costly procedure to do. It has been a goal for gastroenterologists to identify a patient that will soon have a relapse. And we know that calprotectin starts to increase weeks and months before it will be a clinical relevant relapse. Uh, that's why in my hospital we follow the patient, with a, we ask them to send us a stool test every three to four months and if we see an elevated level, we contact the patient for further follow-up. We today have a, a, an alternative. Billman has developed a quantitative rapid test where the patient come, can come directly to the outpatient clinic with the stool sample, and the IBD nurse will run the test, and we will get the result within 15 to 20 minutes, which will be equally accurate as the one that is sent off for ELISA. Billman Laboratories, by providing on one hand side the ELISA for carprotectin, and on the other side, the uh, quantum blue rapid test for caprotectin has evolved into the leading in vitro diagnostics company in this field within the last five years. We also look into the future. Our goal is to work on the assays, to simplify them, to eventually reach a stage where we will be more patient near. The quality that we provide, uh, which is our fundament really, is, is based in a Swiss tradition, our so-called uh, Swiss uh, high-tech heritage, which is, as we think, nicely symbolized by our company mascot, the St. Bernard Dog, 
And just like the St. Bernard dog, uh, Bulma Laboratories uh, reflects these uh, being uh, reliable, competent, uh, unique and independent company. An interesting aspect of gastroenterology is that intestinal diseases cross age, ethnicity and social background. Gastroenterologists treat patients from the age of about 16 to the very elderly. Gastroenterology is largely an outpatient clinic specialty, with a smaller proportion of patients needing hospital admission, for example for severe inflammatory bowel disease, cirrhosis of the liver and gastrointestinal bleeding which usually requires joint management between physicians and surgeons to identify and manage the need and timing of surgery. Endoscopy is usually carried out as a day case procedure. Gastrointestinal disorders are common in primary care and many patients are jointly managed with primary care physicians. I'm Georgina Burnett and you've been watching NHS Gastroenterology, Endoscopy and Stomach Health Diagnosis.